And a very happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, hope you have. Hope you guys are having a good time, good Valentine's Day with your loved ones. This is my uh, Valentine's Day Matchbox unboxing video. Uh, some of the cars, some of them are doubles of the cars I picked up uh, for. Uh, January and February 2013. Got a lot of ground to cover. Let's get to it. Let's start with the old ones. First up is the Volvo C30. Let's see how this thing goes. Pretty old packaging. I haven't seen these in a while. Interesting. Not a big fan of the gold color. Um, but I like the design of this particular car. Um, let me see if I can bring the camera closer. There we go. Uh, rolls very well. Awesome paint apps, back and front. Very, very cool. So, there you go. Next up, we have the Ford Crown Victoria. Big fan of police cars, so no brainer. Got it. Had to pick this one up. I started collecting late, uh, just May 2012, so I missed out on the old ones. This has nice paint apps. I actually like the tempos on this one. Look at that. Fantastic car. Very nice. It rolls very well, very smooth. I like the red lights on top. This one is the car carrier, still from 2008 or 2007, 2008 maybe. Mm -hmm. Interesting, probably one that we'll give to Alex. Um, eh, not a lot of paint apps to it, some clear windows here, ah, quality issue right there, oh, no, not quite, I thought that was a quality issue, it's not. I think it's part of the design, tint of the windshield, and it's supposed to allow you to carry another vehicle. Apparently it doesn't, or does it? Oh, it does, my bad. Did not know this thing slid. Let's see, uh-huh, uh-huh, very nice, Matchbox. Good job, oops, let's see, you can carry a Volvo. Oh yeah, very nice, all right. All right, cool. Liking this one a lot. Next is the Mazda 2 Metro Ride. This is from 2009. Old, old packaging. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. Liking the metallic uh, bluish gray on it. Paint apps are pretty cool. Sir, look at that. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Like it? Uh, it's okay. Rolls okay. Next, we have the same color, same paint apps, I think. Same color scheme. The VIP Range Rover Sport. Interesting. Heavy, pretty heavy. Not too heavy, but heavy enough. Some nice paint apps at the back and front. Uh, a little bit rough. Not as smooth as the other cars, as you can hear. And it has a trailer hitch. Interesting. If I do open up my camper set, I'll probably see how that thing works out. Uh -huh. And this one is well, it's, uh, it's not part of, if you've seen my Matchbox haul video, I didn't include this because I just got this like a day ago, yesterday or a couple of days ago. Not yesterday, a couple of the other day. I uh, didn't feel I had to do another haul video for just one particular car. Um, so it's the only one I have, but I felt, you know, I got to open it up. So I'm including it now in the video. This is the 2010 Fisker Karma hybrid electric vehicle. As you can see, the solar panels are on top. And it is very, very nice. Some metallic candy red right there. Uh, some paint apps, that decent paint apps, the back and front. Really nice. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Uh, it is very smooth. Rolls very smooth. All right, so that's the oldies. Um, yeah, we'll 
move them off of the side just a tad bit right there. Let's start with the new ones. Um, for 2012, not so new, but late 2012. Last few quarters of 2012, last quarter of 2012, I think. Uh, this appeared like Christmas here in Manila. This is from the M Matchbox Airport series, 2012. The MBX Street Cleaner, as you can see. 120 cars for 2012. The Street Cleaner, it's, a re it's not a new mold, but still a very, very interesting mold. And I like the new paint apps on this one. They gave it the same, almost very similar to... Yes, it is exactly the same as the Range Rover and Mazda 2. Yes, it's official. I'm a big fan of this particular paint scheme. Nice tampos. Very, very clean. Pun intended. <laughs> uh, it's got these uh, sweepers that don't do anything. They just, they just sit there. Uh, wow, very smooth. I didn't expect that. It rolls very, very smooth. And it's pretty heavy. Very nice. I like that a lot. Next we have from the Matchbox Beach, um, oops, excuse me, the match, fix the lighting a little bit, hold on, the Matchbox Beach Jeep Rescue, not so much big fan of the yellow, it's a very banana canary yellow, banana yellow, I should say, um, nice rescue logo, but I do like the, the mold, the, the casting of this particular car, so, Decided to get a couple. Very nice. See the Jeep logo at the back. Not, not too many quality issues. Eh, a little bit there. Uh, wow. Uh, it's very loud. Uh, because of the wheels, obviously. But it is very smooth. And again, very heavy. Next, we have the three axle dump truck from Matchbox Construction. So that's the category. Very, very nice. I'm a big fan of construction vehicles, as you may have already figured out in my haul videos. Come on. This, is, this just came out New Year uh, in Manila, 2013, but it is a 2012. See, ooh, and got and get rid of that. Look at that matchbox. Very nice. I'm sure Alex is going to have a field day with this one because it. Anything that has moving parts uh, for a car, a car that has extra moving parts, is awesome in her book. Wow, those are a lot smoother than this one. Uh -huh. The same same set of tires, but three axle, I mean six wheels. Very, very nice. Nice yellow color on it, too. This one is a very uh, paler, you know, dark, darker yellow on it. Um, we'll do a couple of things last. The next is Old Town, but uh, the next two cars I thought were pretty rare. Not rare, but I mean, a lot of collectors were after them. So we'll do that last. I'll talk about that in a little while. Um, let's do this one first, Old Town. You probably guessed the, the two vehicle, the two cars I'm, I'm referring to for Matchbox Old Town, which I'll get to in a little while. This one is also, um, for a lot of collectors, is, is you know eye candy, uh, but not so much, well, at least in the U.S., not sure about here in Manila. I've seen some of these warm the pegs in particular stores and others, they just sell out. This is the classic Seagrave fire engine from Old Town. Uh, so it is pretty heavy, and I thought it was metal on metal. I actually thought metal on metal car, but uh, alas, it is plastic. Just the top one is metal very nice detail on it. I mean, I'm not that big of big on old cars, but uh, there are some that really strike my fancy, and it is really, this one's really, one of them, really nice. Awesome paint on it. Smooth? Smooth enough. So, there. Next, let's go to Arctic. Um, let's start with the Ford Expedition. Not sure what year this is. This is probably 2010 Expedition. Uh, I could be wrong, somebody tell me what year this is, but for the 2012 series, it is in the Arctic category. Ooh, very, very smooth, look at that. Fantastic detail on it. I mean, it's Arctic, who brings a... I mean, do they actually bring an expedition uh, to the North Pole? Maybe they do, I don't know. Nice, nice metallic white finish on it. Very, very nice. Love, love this car. Uh, it's pretty heavy. 
Next we'll have, again, another heavy vehicle, the Frost Fighter uh, from, Ar from, this, from Arctic category. Very nice. Uh, first time I saw this was from Race Grooves, as well as uh, one of PJ's uh, videos, I think, or Race Grooves, I'm not sure. Uh, one of them had shown this, and it, I thought it was fantastic, phenomenal casting. Look at that. Um, look at that red it's a deep orangey red I like it the wheels are actually pretty small that kind of a bummer on it but you know what can you do you got tire tr you know you got some treads right here and it, as you figured out it does not roll very well actually it's a bumpy bumpy road like that but still you know it's a nice casting i'm actually loving this one very nice Okay, um, running out of space. Um, let's start with let's start with a new category called Highway. Let's start uh, with this one. For wild collectors, we're after this. That's why you can find them on the peg. But now you can easily see this, spot this, uh, unless the hoarders have already snatched up everything. And scalpers. This is the from Highway Mitsubishi Lancer e Evolution. X police evolution X please I think it is 2008 the evil to uh, 2010 my bad so yeah very nice a lot of collectors are after this one especially Asian collectors ha huh? stereotypes uh, yeah very nice look at that and rolls very smooth Sort of like a drift car. It rolls like a drift car. Very nice. Um, have a good look at that. Yeah, I love the black on it. It's like this shiny black. So we'll put that there to go to the police car. Next we have from Island as well the BMW Z4. And I love this car. Okay, come on. All right. Um, very nice. Look at that. Lovely, just lovely car. It's a very shiny black, just like the Evo. Um, yeah, some dirt here and there, but great paint apps uh, at the back. Look at that Z4. Make sure you get one that has a clear Z4 tempo. And look at that. Very nice up in front. Very, very cool. Very nice. And it rolls very well. So, I'm going to cut this video short, folks. I do apologize, but uh, I do want to have an easy time uploading videos. This is part one of my Matchbox unboxing for Valentine's Day. We'll do part two in a little while. Do stay tuned for that.